Oh, hi, Dylan. So we're in Singapore. Are we? Oh, we're still in India. Oh, well, my phone, my phone still says we're in India. Oh, this is really, really nice. Really nice for India. Alright, we got a few hours until we get into the hotel. See that? There's coin in the water. Yes, Dylan. I know there's coin in the water. I'm just saying. That's good thing you guys. They didn't. They didn't. But now, now they know. Good job. Right. Let's go see what we do for a few hours until we get to the hotel. Dylan, welcome to Singapore. Uh, hi. We, it's loud. It, it is kind of loud. We got uh, train tickets. For eating or drinking. Yeah. Holy crap! All right, first view of Singapore. What do you think, Dylan? First view of Singapore. It's actually a pretty cool draw drawing right here. <laughs> Buildings are cool. Your shaky camera will do nothing, Dylan. Nothing. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. I my lens has stabilization on. I can move and go, jigger. Go on YouTube and has stabilized for me. Oh wow, you can do that actually. It'll just crop about half your video. Yeah, I'm not actually. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Watch that in 3D, kids. <laughs> wow. It'll be an experience of your lifetime. Whoa. We're on a bridge. We have arrived at Hobbitville. What's up? What's up? Hi. So we have a reservation under Dylan Jones. You check in now. Um, if we can. Check in at this hour. You must pay additional $13 for a big check in. $13? 30 30 Okay. Um, uh, would it be okay if we just left our bags here for a while? Okay, so we don't want to check in right now. Yeah, check in at two? Two, yes. Okay. But can we still leave our bags? Yes, you can leave it. Take it. Okay. Alright, so we left our luggage or whatever at the hotel. Hotel. Ho our hotel. And, oh look, it's a sewer system. I love sewer systems. Open sewer is kind of weird. Uh, it's a sewer? I mean, they have it in LA. Same thing. Just, Do they? Yeah. But much, much, much bigger. So, I don't know. Because, the, of course, they have to have runoff to the ocean as well. Um, and we're, we're going to try and go to the beach or whatever. It should just be a, a mile or two. And, uh, yeah. Very green. Very not noisy. Until we make it noisy. Sometimes I wonder if this is all real or not. Do we exist, or do they exist? Does this place exist? 
have we died? And gone to hell? Well, I haven't died. But, I'm, yeah, but I am questioning if all this does exist. I'm constantly questioning if I'm in hell. I'm, quest I'm questioning if Dylan exists next to me. You think, therefore, I am. Well, either way, Dylan, who does not or does exist next to me at this moment, Please, I do I'm believe. I do believe we are headed the wrong direction, as would the original Dylan, if you are him. Fine. Maybe you are actually pretending to be him and navigating us awkwardly. Not even a bell. Consider it. Welcome to Silent Town. Silence. Or else. There's trees growing through the, the bridge thing. There's vines growing on it too and everything. Run! Alright, don't run. In case you're wondering, they help you with this. They help you with the walking. Look at this. You don't even have to walk across the bridge. You're like, what? You're, yep, there you go. Truly a utopia. <laughs> it's the floor moves for you. <laughs> Something about a ticket. Why do we need tickets? I feel like this might be a theme park. Some sort. They would build a theme park on an island? A good place to build a theme park. I mean, they can't go anywhere. They have to buy food from there. Exactly. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go check it out then. Check it out. So we're breaking into a theme park. Breaking in. Well, actually, we don't, we don't know if we're breaking in, but we saw people coming in. They didn't stop us either, so. This is kind of a theme park area where it is, the southern part of Singapore. And apparently you pay, you can pay minimum of 40 and get like three attractions, or you can pay 80, get all the lower attractions and get like three really nice attractions to do, like surfing or rock climbing or something like that. And it's called Senjura. And we're just waiting for someone to come tell us we can't be here. Sen Dosa. We're going deep into Singapore's underground area. It's a cave here. Satan's cave, as they, the locals call it. Some say it took millions of years to create this home cave and glacier areas. Also, these lights there, too. Millions of years. Life took an extra million. The very the, the thing that the gods do. Okay. I feel like that bird's following us around. They keep calling to it. That's me whistling, by the way. Have we made it out? Miraculous. I thought we'd never get out of there. Oh, what's this? Is this gonna be water there coming out? If I stand there long enough, will it? That's the real <laughs> question. No, no, it won't. <laughs> life is life is cruel that way, Dylan. It just won't. It doesn't do what you want it to. That's why you have to bend it to its will. Bend with the iron fist. Be the will bender. Universal Studios. That's the universal sign for Universal Studios. Universal Studios Singapore. Cool, so open up, open up at 10 to 7. 
Seems like a fairly small park. Hopefully not too much. Maybe we'll go inside and check it out. Find out. Doesn't look good. Uh, 10 bucks a day. That's it? No, come on, 74. Son of a bitch. So we're on a shuttle and it's free. Free. Oh yeah, free. That's pretty cool. So we're taking it. We'll see where it takes us. So now we're in a kind of mall thing. Food. Republic. Check it out, yo. Where are you gonna go? All right. More like a restaurant? It's not open, wow. Dude, this would be an awesome place to eat. Look at this. So cool. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Your body will eat yourself. Oh my god. Oh man. Dude, and it, I will get this. I will get the large. I will get the large, <laughs> sir. This is Thai. It's saying nothing Japanese food. I don't care. I don't care. You see me? See this face? The face? I don't care. It's like a face that cares. Mm -mm. I care. Carl is a kid who cares. I care. Okay. I care about getting that. That's what I care about. I don't know what time they open, but yeah. I know what I'm ordering. I'm so tired that I forced Dylan into sitting. I'm not happy. He's not happy. But we got water. He apparently got a different type of water. Mineral water. It was four dollars fifty. What? Yeah. Why would you get mineral water? Because I want minerals. That's weird. This is from the French Alps. Oh, can you taste the difference? Absolutely not. <laughs> I just got drinking water, which was like a two bucks or whatever. Two, yeah. Two dollars. Two dollars. And then I also got a Miku. Got to get the Miku. It's worth pointing out to your viewers that a dollar in Singapore is not a dollar in the United States. Uh, it's like a dollar and 30, yeah. 30 cents they or something. They still call them the dollar, they still use the money sign, but it's not the same dollar. Okay. Just say it. So, two dollars. Which is like 160 in the US, right? 190. 190. Yeah. We did not get anything to eat at the 7-Eleven uh, we went to because uh, Dylan said we should wait delay and gratification. delay it. And I am I know what I'm gonna get. I know there's this there's this bowl. There's a bowl over there that I'm. It just has my name on it. I don't know when it's gonna open and I'm gonna get it. But oh, Carlos. Carlos. There's a uh, Carlos Jr. over there that was like 14 bucks for a meal. Holy crap! It didn't even have the El Diablo. Didn't you have El Diablo? The El Diablo is the only thing when Carl Jr. is worth getting besides the regular chicken. Well, you know what? We need to find a Wendy's. They have the stuff. Oh, uh, I'll find a Wendy's. Wendy's nuts at your chin. So, so it's all closed upstairs, but the, the bottom, bottom floor is like... Okay, subway, subway station over there, and then there's stuff up here. Food court. This is where everything is now. I wonder what. So I decided we should eat because I'm starving. I got the char stew wonton noodle number six over there, and Dylan got number sixteen uh, roasted duck noodle char stew as well. All right, so Dylan got some kind of noodle thing. He got soup, and um, I thought I was gonna get a bowl, but yeah. Whatever. All good. It's delicious. Should come to Singapore and have it. <laughs> hey there. So, I am feeling pretty sick, so Dylan's not here. Uh, I walk back to the hotel. But since I'm here, let me show you the hotel that we got here in Singapore. All right, you have a little table, uh, coffee, phone, little lamp. Little dresser area for shoes, whatnot. There's also a little fridge in here, and underneath you find coffee and cups, and of course hangers and maybe a place for shoes or something. Um, nighttime, so not much 
you can't really see outside, but it's an okay view. Much better than a lot of the other ones we've had. Uh, two beds, uh, nightstand in the middle. Uh, you got your air conditioning. You got the uh, key on the next to the door. You got a unlockable door or something like that, I think. I, at least I haven't seen where you could lock it. So yeah, it's unlockable. And uh, you got a little window over there. Hello. Uh, curtain. Uh, toilet, no bidet or spray. Uh, two towels that we've been using. Well, he, I guess he has. Um, and then shower head and hot and cold. And so, soap for your hands. For some reason, it's there. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it's actually body soap, but I wouldn't know. Oh, there's also a TV there. Uh, it works. Let me try it. That's about it. It's a nice small little room. Comfy. Uh, air conditioning. Conditioning gets super cold, especially when Dylan puts it to freezing. And that's about it. Gonna head on out and see if I can find Dylan. And uh, that's about it. Yeah. Bye. Hey there. So we went out to eat. I found out that it was super humid out there. And halfway through my walk, I was just drenched in sweat. And my nice shirt is, uh, was, uh, yeah, I was drenched. Okay, so I got the fridge working. Turns out there is a switch way in the back. So make sure you hit that. And then you can regulate your cold. Like I have it at four right now. And I'll check it out in a bit, see if it's okay. So there's that tip for the hotel. Um, also, bought some tea and that big water, which is about the same size. So, like, there you go. That's like $2 for that and $2 for the water. Also, got some of these stick things for just eating here in the hotel. and. Dylan got some chocolates, and that's, yeah, for what we brought to the hotel. I got some razors, and I got a laundry, got a laundry bag that I will be doing tomorrow. We found a place while walking back over here. It was something like four bucks for, shoo, my hair. Okay, it was four bucks to wash your clothes and about a dollar each for detergent and stuff like that and then six bucks to dry your clothes so I'm gonna take a look at that tomorrow and finally get my clothes washed proper very proper Dylan's still washing his clothes the old uh, sink way that's fine I, I just wanna smell <laughs> really nice though and I, I want to have everything really nice, nicely cleaned. Alright, now to watch videos and eat snacks. Oh yeah. I also got a Miku. I'm not sure if I told you. Miku. Miku this. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. Tune in next time.